On behalf of Dylan and Kimberly, I'd like to welcome you to the celebration of love and thank you for traveling to share with them in their joy today. Before we begin, I ask that all of you please take a moment to silence, put away your mobile devices so that you may be completely present in this moment. Thank you. We're gathered together on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Dylan and Kimberly. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. This ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond, and as their dearest friends and family, it is our honor and privilege to stand witness to this event. This day is made possible not only because of your love for one another, but through the grace and the support of your family and friends. It is our hope for your fulfillment and joy in each other. It will increase with each passing year. Marriage is a commitment in life where two people can find and bring out the very best in one another. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal. A physical and an emotional joining that has the promise of a lifetime. Let us bow our heads together in prayer. Lord, we thank you for gathering everyone here today. We ask that you help Dylan and Kimberly to remember the strong love that they share to work that love into practical things so that nothing can divide them. May their love always inspire them to be kind in their words, considerate of the other's feelings, concern for the other's needs and wishes, increase their faith and trust in you, bless their marriage with peace and happiness, and make their love fruitful for your glory and their joy, both here and in eternity. Amen. While the commitment begins with the two of you, its effects radiates outwards. It touches your family and your friends and ultimately all of society. When this commitment is seriously made and continuously fulfilled, it leads to the richest and most rewarding of human relationships. Your relationship will take more than love. It will take trust, to know in your hearts that you only want the best for each other, dedication, to stay open to one another, to learn and grow, even when it is difficult to do so, and faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for you. While love is our natural state of being, these other qualities, they're not as easy to come by. They're not a destination, they're a journey. Marriage is a give and a take between two personalities, a mingling of two endowments which diminishes neither, it enhances both. Seeing that no moment is without meaning, we ask that you take this marriage as a new beginning of your lives together. Today solidifies the creation of a home and a family for you both. May you be fulfilled by each other's love and friendship. May you be overjoyed by the promises you're about to make and the life you will create together. Now remember that in every marriage there are good times and there are bad times. There are times of joy and times of sorrow. Marriage is a journey. It's a time of adventure and excitement enhanced by love, trust, dedication, and faith you share in one another. May the promises you make to one another today be lived out to the end of your lives. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is when it all begins. Dylan and Kimberly, do you, with your family and friends as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined in marriage today? We do. Do you promise to care for each other in joys and sorrows of life, come what may, to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? We, we do. Dylan and Kimberly have written their own vows. Dylan, let's turn to your bride. Kimberly, let me start by saying thank you. Thank you for all the amazing times. Thank you for giving me such a wonderful and wild son. You're not <clears throat> thank you for being there for me and helping mold me into the man I am today. Yeah. <laughs> you have never given up on me and with your love and support, I feel like I can I feel like I can accomplish anything. 
Without you, I would be lost. You're the love of my life and the last piece I need to this crazy puzzle we call life. Who would have known from the moment we met, we would be where we are now? We have gotten so far together, but we still have mountains to climb. With, but with you, it'll be easiest climbing stairs. You are such a strong and independent woman, and you're gonna go far and do great things. And I have your back the entire way. Watching you with Hayden is probably the best gift anybody's ever given me. If I have, haven't said it enough, I love you. I'm ready to grow old together. Okay, Kat. Four years ago, when I fell into you, I never thought that I would get to spend the rest of my life with you. I am so thankful to be standing here with you today. I've been waiting for this day for longer than you could imagine. Today I marry you, the man that I love and cherish more than life itself. You have encouraged me and challenged me more than anyone ever has. You've shown me that no matter what life throws at us, we can make it through anything. You have made me a mother to the biggest and cutest blessing I could ever imagine. And you've also shown me that love may not be easy, but it's worth it. I promise that for the rest of our lives, I will encourage and inspire you, laugh with you and comfort you, frustrate and challenge you. I promise to be true to you, to support you in your dreams and interests, and to share all of life's beautiful moments with you. I promise to never take you for granted and to always show you that you're appreciated. I promise to be your biggest headache and your biggest fan. I promise to grow along with you and to face change in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. I promise to love you in good and bad times completely and forever. You are the love of my life and I am so excited to be your wife and live the rest of my days with you. I love you more than you could ever imagine. Having this love in your hearts, you've chosen to seal your vows by the exchanging of rings. From the earliest of times, the circle has been a sign of completeness. The rings you've chosen to wear have neither a beginning nor an end, much like your love for one another. They are a symbol of the words that you speak today. May these rings be from this day forward your most treasured adornment and may the love they symbolize be your most precious possession. As you wear these rings, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises you're making today. Dylan, please take the ring, place it on Kimberly's finger, and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Of my love and faithfulness to you. And to share my love with you always and, and forever. And to share my love with you always and forever. Take the ring, place it on Dylan's finger, and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Of my love and faithfulness to you. And to share my life with you always and forever. And to share my life with you always and forever. We have just witnessed Kimberly and Dylan pledge their love to one another through the reading of vows and the exchanging of rings. They wish to further symbolize the strength of their commitment to each other and their unity as a family with a special love lock ceremony. this moment forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of another person, giving you a completeness and a renewed lightness. May your life together be immersed in love and excitement. May you strive to enrich each other in every possible way. May the challenges life brings your way make your marriage even stronger, and may you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. Having pledged your fidelity to one another, to love, to honor and to cherish one another in the presence of this gathering and by the authority vested in me by the laws mm -hmm. of the state, 
It is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Dylan Ratliff. Yeah.